ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಹರಿಹರ್ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಅ ಕನ್ಸಲ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಇ ಎನ್ ಟಿ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಅನೇಸಲ್ ಬ್ಲೀಡ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಮ್ಲಿ ಅಲಾರ್ಮಿಂಗ್ ನಾಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹೂ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಇಟ್ commonly seen in children and sometimes even in adults a nasal bleed can be something that disturbs the person why does it happen it can happen due to a rupture of the nasal blood vessels in the septum very commonly seen in children due to nose picking they try to clean the nose by putting a finger and the fingernail can injure the sensitive and very a uh, vascular part of the septum which is situated in the front of the nose and as a result can have bleeding there can be infective processes also causing tissue swellings and friability of these tissues can lead on to bleeding now in adults a very common cause for bleeding is hypertension high blood pressure can give rise to the uh, safety valve opening as it were in the nose which prevents a uh, intracranial bleed so a nasal bleed in an adult with hypertension is basically a safety measure which nature has produced to prevent a bleed from rape which can be quite alarming and sometimes even fatal what do you do when you have a nasal bleed if there is a child with a nasal bleed first thing is to do calm the patient calm the person uh, if it's a child it's easier said than done but nevertheless you can do that and ensure that you put an ice pack over the nose or a cold pack over the nose and importantly pinch the nostrils by putting the four finger and the thumb against the bones of the face on either side of the nose and pinching it tight holding the pinched nose for about 10 minutes with the head bent forward not backward not lying down is important and if you hold the position like that for 10 minutes invariably the bleeding stops now why not lie down which is commonly done is because the bleeding can trickle into the throat it's not so bad if the patient swallows it but if the person has an aspiration going into the windpipe it's quite dangerous it may cause sometimes serious complications so it's always advised not to lie down to sit with the head bent forward with the nose pinched between the thumb and the forefinger if it's an adult the nasal bleeding has to be dealt with differently because it could be due to various other causes it could be a mass in the nose a tumor in the nose it could also be a uh, hypertension or any other reason so identifying that is very critical getting to a hospital in both situation whether it's a child or an adult is important as nasal bleeding is torrential can have very serious complications